Hey, so I'm on my bike. I'm out uh, riding in the neighborhoods and location scouting. <laughs> so it's just right across the street from where I live. Um, thought of a house and some people we know and so I was going over to see the house and now it's, well, since I'm out here, I'm gonna go around and ride and kind of get more of a feel of what's in the area and see if some of these things are working. So right away, there's, a, there's at least three that I've seen that are, um, could really work from the exteriors and even try not to be too creepy, but kind of riding my bike, seeing over the fence that there's a place that has a really good garden and stuff that could fit really well with our, our lead Daisy character. And so taking photos and then uh, I'll probably clean up and put on a little, something else besides my basketball shorts to go and knock on some doors and and see if there's uh, some interest in letting us film. Um, hopefully I know some of the people because I, I know people but don't always know where they live. So um, that would be really cool. Or another thought too is looking for uh, Airbnb place in the similar area. One thing that I'm really wanting is like a big, a big window. Actually, as I'm dry saying this, I just came by one that could work really well. Has a nice yard. A couple of these do, but it has, but it has a really big window um, where, where there's you know numerous scenes that just watch out. That she watches out the window, waiting for a van or to come and pick her. Just you know part of watching the day go by. So I'm gonna go over here and get a shot of this house. I'll show you. Here's one of the houses, nice yard. And then this house is the one that caught my attention. Nice picket fence. Well, that was exciting. Uh, first time ever a location scouting on a bicycle. Um, in some ways it was actually nicer than a car. A car you would just have to go really slow and then it looks a little more creepy and obvious. But on a bike, because able to begin some exercise and then also being able to, to look and slow down and go and just ride around and wasn't, wasn't wasting gas and getting some good exercise, but uh, it was kind of fun. I know you can't do that always, especially maybe in the summer, it might not be a good idea here in Arizona, but um, so now it was, it was good. So I, I'll probably go um, back through those areas on another day, pick out a couple of specific houses or backyards that I'm looking at, and then go and knock on their doors. So there is some, it, it, it excites me because there's some close locations that could work. Um, right now it's the, it'll be a decision of, do we try to find a rental property that's not rented yet or an Airbnb that we have access to, or do we go in, in a house that's being lived in and then try to work around. If we're there for a day or two or three, sometimes that gets kind of rough um, for the family that lives there, the people that live there and us as crew members. So it's kind of a give and take, something that's kind of already furnished versus nothing that we're gonna have to come in and completely art design, looking at it kind of negative in one way, another way, if we have complete control over, the, over you know, our production design, then it may be easier because then we can get what we need to, to, to build it how we want it to look. So not that one way is better than the other, just kind of the, the situation too. And trying to keep it, if possible, finding the perfect house that has the perfect yard, that has the perfect everything in it at one location versus start to piecemeal where you're, you know, we use the front of my house and then we use a backyard somewhere else and we use a room in this part for all the scenes in this house and then over here another place we're using for the kitchen stuff. I mean, we can do that, I've done that before, but if we can kind of keep everything together, one location is ideal for for any production because then you're not having to move, you just kind of go there and you settle in and set up camp and then you you get to work. You don't waste all that time unloading stuff, filming, reloading, moving, re-unloading, shooting, reload, you know, 
that that can that can eat up your day pretty fast. So that's where we're at. Had a, had some fun location scouting, and now it's off to to get back to work to to get the next stuff rolling. Still lots of lots of little fires to create and other ones to put out. Follow the journey.